Hi everybody, welcome back to Cheat 3. Today we have a design series video and I'm going to go through six different locking mechanisms we use in our puzzle boxes. Um, if you've built a lot of our boxes, this probably is not the video for you because you probably know all of these locks already. But if you're looking to build your own puzzle box, these are great locks that you can incorporate into your puzzle boxes. This is the first lock. This particular lock has been used in probably almost all of our puzzle boxes. It's very basic. Um, if you're trying to get at the money piece, it's blocked like this. But if you slide that slider out of the way, now that clears the path for the money to be pushed out. Okay, lock number two. This one can be found in Ben's locker on the beginning step when you slide the fallen mast over. Um, so for example, if I try to get the money here, that's blocked. But when you slide this piece over, then when you slide it back, the pathway is now clear to get your money. Block number three. This one has a sliding side. Um, and it doesn't appear that there's any way to get the money. But if I insert my tool into that side right there, and I then slide it, now my money has been released. So this one you use the tool to help slide the money out. Um, and this one was used in the puzzle box Toya. All right, lock number four. This one also has a sliding side like this. You have to imagine that this is on the interior of a puzzle box. And if I use my tool, my tool isn't that helpful. Um, so this lock was used in the puzzle box traffic jam. And essentially what you wanna do is if we're trying to clear up this path here, to get our money, we want to push that one out and then shift this wall over and then push that one back so that this pathway here is clear to get our money. All right, lock number five. This one, um, this one has a one by three tile with one of the center tubes removed, this one right here. So that's what allows it to slide. Um, this particular lock was used in the puzzle box Virgo. And if we're trying to get our money and we push these sliders, it's constantly blocked no matter which way I push them. But if you push it halfway, now you can pull each side out to free up the pathway for your money. All right, lock number six. This particular lock was used in C3 for the first time, and it allows movement in two different directions using the same piece, which seems counterintuitive for Lego, um, but when you use these two by two corner tiles or plates and you remove both of the under tubes and that uh, where the 90 degree angle is, there's a little side support there if you remove that also it allows for movement in two different directions. So if I'm trying to get the money, it doesn't appear that there's any way to get the money. Um, but if I slide this two by two corner tile this way, then I can also slide it that way. Um, so those are the six locks. Hopefully they'll help you in building your own puzzle boxes. And if you are excited about these locks, there will be a puzzle box that incorporates all six locks. And that will be coming out next week, hopefully. If you like this video, hit the like button and we will see you on the next one. Cheat three, out.